You can see the beautiful view behind me, the old city of Jerusalem from the promenade, known as Armon HaNetziv in Hebrew. In English, it's the governor's house. A few months ago, I directed an archeological excavation on behalf of the Israel Antiquities Authority and funded by the City of David Foundation, the Ministry of Tourism and the Jerusalem Municipality. 2,700 years ago, during biblical Jerusalem, the times of the Judean kings, a royal estate was located here. This is the time between the Assyrian assault on Jerusalem and the time of the Babylonian conquest. In the course of the excavation, our greatest surprise was when I heard a <coughs> the digging vessels scraped on a large stone. And when we brushed it clean, it was the most beautiful decoration I believe ever found of the capitals decorated in that manner from the first temple period. And we had a great surprise when after removing that ornamented capital, we found a second one immediately underneath it. Oh, here's another one. What? Another one. Another one. Another one. We're in the Israel Antiquities Authority storeroom. Here we have some of the examples of the most beautiful finds that decorated probably the patio or supporting a porch of a palace or a royal villa. I was so excited when we found them, I didn't sleep for two nights. The experts say that they are the most beautiful in their composition, in their execution of masonry and design. We're very lucky to have them preserved in this manner. We have mini capitals decorating a window, a base of a beautifully ornamented pillar. On top of it, we can put this decorative capital. The sill was on top of that. I would call that late Iron Age windows operating system. And it's not by chance that on the five shekel coin, we have the impression of the capital just as found in these excavations. Something unique from the kingdom of Judea 2,700 years ago, imprinted on a modern coin in the modern state of Israel.